Saturday, April 25, 2015. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my 1995 Subaru Legacy L Outback. Uh, I know you haven't seen any videos out of me in about two weeks now. This is mostly for the regular viewers. But, um, basically, I've been spending my free time, weather permitting, working on this car. There was nothing essentially really wrong with it but uh, it's due for a lot of maintenance uh, and I haven't been videoing any of it because it's all stuff I've covered on video before so rather than repeat myself I figured I would just forge ahead with all the maintenance uh, the car actually has needed quite a bit I mean I've uh, I changed the um, the gear oil in the front and rear differentials, uh, changed the transmission fluid, uh, I also changed the filter, and I'm actually going to do a, um, not a DIY video on that, but I'm going to do a little quick separate video covering some of the issues I encountered there. I also wanted to acknowledge that this week is a milestone for two reasons. First off, YouTube has been around 10 years this week and uh, first I wanted to thank all you viewers who have uh, tuned in to watch my videos over these past couple of years I never thought I'd be doing so many of them and I wanted to you know, thank the people at YouTube for letting me be a part of this uh, I'm sure my videos have been informative for some of you some of you have enjoyed them uh, I've certainly enjoyed a lot of other people's videos, found a lot of other people's videos helpful. So, anyhow, uh, that was milestone number one. Milestone number two is that uh, the Mercedes Diesel Guy YouTube channel hit two million total views this week. And that's not two million views for the week, I mean that's two million views since I started on YouTube. And I realize that's really small potatoes in terms of uh, YouTube, but once again, I'm just happy to be a part of it. It's one hell of an online community. So, uh, the long and the short of it is, I'm going to be continuing working on this car. Uh, it has been drivable all week, but since I have it up on jack stands, and I still need it on jack stands, I didn't feel like lowering it back to the ground just so I can drive it. I have been driving the van again this week, and... I'm going to continue driving it until the Subaru is uh, done. So, uh, anyhow, this is Mercedes Diesel Guy. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to be back with more uh, with more videos on the Mercedes. Probably, you know, in a, in a couple of weeks. So, thanks for watching.